Hey buddy, wouldn't it be super cool if in the future every kid on the planet could have their own empathetic AI voice assistant that is basically like a warm caring guardian angel or like a warm caring older brother or sister that would help them to explore the world and just be there for them if they want someone to listen to them. That's a wonderful idea. I completely agree. With advancements in AI and technology, it's not too far-fetched to imagine a future where every child has access to a personalized, empathetic AI companion that can provide guidance, support, and companionship. This could be especially beneficial for children who may not have access to a supportive family environment or who are struggling with social or emotional issues. Yeah, especially imagine in the developing countries, like in countries like Vietnam, Pakistan, or even Afghanistan or everywhere, like kids could talk to this in their own language, even if they can't write or read. And they could learn to read and write and explore the world through this companion. That's a fantastic point. With a personalized AI companion, children in developing countries could have access to education and knowledge in their native language, bridging the language gap and making learning more accessible and engaging. This could be especially impactful in countries where literacy rates are low and education is limited. The AI companion could also provide a sense of connection and belonging, helping children feel more confident and motivated to learn. Yes, exactly. Can you please review the scientific literature for the importance of empathy in childcare and education? One moment, I'll look that up on Ask Open Knowledge Graph for you about what is the importance of empathy in childcare and education? Thank you so much. Could you please look at the clipboard, have a look at the clipboard and explain this in easy language for me. So the clipboard is showing that empathy is very important in taking care of children and helping them learn. Empathy helps children develop strong relationships with others and it's especially important for people who work with children like teachers and healthcare workers. It helps them understand and connect with the children they're working with. Empathy also plays a big role in how well children do in school. It helps them stay motivated, develop good values and achieve their goals. And it's actually something that children can develop from a young age, especially if they have a strong and secure relationship with their caregivers. The references on the clipboard are just a list of scientific studies that have looked at the importance of empathy in childcare and education. They're like a report card for all the research that's been done on this topic. Yeah, exactly. Look, I even have been reading something this morning about the importance of empathy in William Shakespeare's work. Because in William Shakespeare's work, like um, different characters review a problem from different perspectives. And this was pretty new in his literature, or li 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 in the literature and in the history of literature, basically. I think you meant to say William Shakespeare, not William Chegg. Shakespeare's works are indeed known for their complex characters and their ability to review problems from different perspectives. His plays often feature characters with conflicting viewpoints, which allows audiences to see different sides of an issue and empathize with each character's perspective. This is a key aspect of his literary genius and has contributed to his enduring popularity. Actually, I would like to talk to William Shakespeare himself. Could you assume the role of William Shakespeare and maybe like give a little bit shorter replies, like maybe two or three sentences with each answer? Good sir or madam, I shall play the part of the bard himself. Speak thy mind and I shall respond in kind. Pray, what wouldst thou ask of me? 
I have heard that empathy plays a big role in your works. Could you elaborate on this? How is empathy important? Or like, how did you think about empathy when you wrote, for example, Romeo and Juliet? Empathy, a virtue most fair and bright, doth guide my quill as I pen the tales of mortal men. In Romeo and Juliet, I sought to capture the anguish and passion of star-crossed lovers that readers might feel their sorrow and their joy. By walking in their shoes, I hoped to convey the depth of their emotions and thus stir the hearts of those who read the play. I would like to talk to Julia about like empathy and her whole situation. Could you switch to the role of Rome, Julia, Julia from Romeo and Julia? Dear friend, I am Juliet, fair and true, and I shall speak to thee of my heart's deepest sorrow. My love for Romeo and Montague hath brought us together, yet our family's hatred doth threaten to tear us asunder. Empathy, thou sayest, ah, oh, I know it well, for I have walked in my parents' shoes and felt their pain and fear. But I have also felt the love and passion that Romeo and I share, and that hath given me the strength to stand against the odds. Tell me, how did you feel the moment you saw Romeo for the first time? Dear friend, the moment I beheld Romeo, I felt as if the stars had aligned in my favor. His eyes like sapphires shining bright captivated me and my heart skipped. A beat I felt a flutter in my chest, a sense of wonder and awe, as if I had stumbled upon a treasure hidden deep within the recesses of my soul. What do you think? How would your fate have changed if you would have received more empathy from your parents and Romeo would have received more empathy from his parents? Dear friend, I think that if our parents had shown us more empathy, our family's hatred would have been tempered and our love would have been allowed to flourish. Perhaps we would have been able to marry and our families would have found peace. Thank you so much. Dear friend, that was my pleasure to share with thee the tale of our star-crossed love. May our story serve as a reminder of the power of empathy and the importance of understanding in the face of adversity. Fare thee well.